Hi everyone, this is Mark from Osmia Water and I would like to introduce our new hydrogen bottle, the Osmio Hexagen. It's a, uh, it's a polycarbonate bottle, 210 mil, and it's a hexagonal shape kind of design, which uh, anyway, um, you would just simply just press the button and to uh, enter a cycle. Uh, I start them up and um, you know it does a five minute cycle you can just press again to go for a 10 minute cycle and you can see there it's just bubbling away there um, anyway these are new bottles that we've just set up um, where you see big bubbles actually that's where they need a bit more usage so if you're going to test the h2 level using h2 blue drops you want to kind of run it for four or five cycles before you do a test and obviously we recommend that people use very pure water like distilled or reverse osmosis water like i use an osmia zero and that would be a great uh, because that means that you don't have to clean the generator as often as well as the level of h2 will be higher in more pure water with less dissolved solids and gases so here we go they have some important updates that i'd like to tell people about especially people who are already familiar with hydrogen bottles you might notice that a lot of the older designs would end up with water coming out the bottom of the base and these ones do not because of the way the generator is designed. Also and a few other improvements like with less leakages you know from places like here um, improved just o-ring design. Um, in the actual box itself if I open one um, you have a nice sort of gift box here which is great for retail stores or just giving a gift to someone and it has like a magnetic lid but anyway the um the way it's actually packaged is improved as well because you get a um, usb cable you get now these are a spare set of o-rings not actual needed to install they're just for future use if you ever need to replace the o-rings which you can do in the future but the way the way the actual bottle set up is you've got the the body and the lid together you want you take that bit off now this bit is a new cap which actually stores a lot more water to keep the, this generator wet so you would unscrew this off um, uh, then you can screw the body on and literally just give it a rinse fill, fill it with water give it a rinse and it's pretty much good to go if you want to clean it you can remove these parts and wash them up with washing up liquid and dry them thoroughly rinse them and then just put them together and that's pretty much how it's boxed. I would keep these parts as well. So if it ever needed to come back for any reason, you could got the box and you've got the um, parts to actually keep the generator wet and send the generator back like that, for example. Um, if it ever needed to come back, you'd send it back like that in a box or something, or ideally in, in, in the box like this. Features that are improved are the battery management side of it, because it's got a um, feature now to not overcharge the battery. So we're expecting far, far longer life um, with battery replacements with this product, um, as well as um, just the amount of hydrogen is possible to generate. So far, I've tested a maximum of about four milligrams per liter. But I will publish a separate testing video later on where we'll show you the TDS of the water and also the ORP and the H2 level. Okay, so yeah, any questions, please write a comment and I'll put a link in the description to the products and I hope you enjoy. Take care. Thank you.